This is a Mercedes 220 SEB, which has a chassis code of W111, built in 1965. This was one of the last of the uh, 220s before the 250 SE was introduced. This particular vehicle has an engine capacity of 2,195 cc's, whereas the 250 SE was 2,496. The body styling, styling was created by a Frenchman, Paul Brack. The problem we're addressing today is that over the past 40 years or so, we've lost the key for the boot. Replacement lock mechanisms are available, but hard to justify at a cost of around four to five hundred dollars. As an alternative, I am attempting to modify the pins in the lock barrel so that the door key will open the boot. The first step is to remove the latch mechanism to give access to the lock mechanism which is actually a separate piece. There are two nuts that retain the lock which are accessed through two small holes on the inside of the boot using a 9mm socket. The socket requires an extension piece to reach from the inside of the boot into the, the retaining nuts. The socket on that I'm using is a 9mm I've got one nut undone now the other one is the other one now this is loose There it is. This uh, clip fits on top of this retainer and then there's a spring. The circ clip fits into a groove. See if I can focus around the inside of the cylinder. The barrel just lifts out. It was at this point I realized that this lock is not made to come apart beyond this point. There's a very narrow slot cut into the side of the barrel and a metal wedge has been hammered into the slot which stops the inner part of the barrel from sliding out of the outer part. The wedge is below flush with the surface of the slot so there's nothing to grab to pull it out. I drilled a small hole in one end of the slot so I could get a fine screwdriver under the wedge to lever it out. Once the pin is removed from here, the center of the barrel can come out. And you can see the, the pins that lock with the key. The pins can be removed using a pair of long nose pliers and I rearranged them so that they matched up with the pattern on the door key.